if you continue to live like a black man, then guess what? You're going to continue to get black man results in society. Bring it up. If you continue to live like a nigga, you're going to get nigga conditions in, in society. Deep. We have been shot down in these streets and raped and pulled through these streets for hundreds of years. Right. You ain't tired yet? Are you tired of looking at the condition of your people? Bring it out. When we look at this society, look at this. Look at the condition of our brothers and sisters. Jeez. Are we not tired yet? Bring it out. Yeah. What do we do about it? pushing religion, you know what I'm saying? All these people were selling in here. So knowing that all this was selling in here, the tribe, I feel, yeah, I mean, I ain't never gonna say nothing more than important than the Bible, because that's that's the story of the spirit, you get what I'm saying? The spirit that brought flesh into existence, you right. know? And took it out of existence. All right, so, so, and, so you said you you identify with the first one, right? I mean, just, somewhat. I mean, African American, yeah, I mean, somewhat. What about y'all? What do you see yourself at on the sign? You said you're not on the sign, right? You got three different nationalities. What do y'all see yourself on the sign right here? You can look on the flyer too. It's on the back of the flyer. But right here are 12 tribes of Israel, right? There are 18 nations on the planet. Only 18. Right here. Which nation do That's you come from? What you claim? That's what I claim. You claim black. black. All right, what about you? And I'm asking this. You don't know? If these are the children of Israel, whether they, claim, whether, they, whether they claim any of them, it's still family. Okay. So okay, what's, yeah, the that's purpose, a, yeah, that's what's the purpose of making somebody the purpose think is, the story that you tell it should still be the same story so, no matter what name they pick? So, brother, these people on this sign right here, right? Yeah. Or, do you agree that they are the children of Israel? Yeah. Or black people are descendants of Israelites? Correct. Okay, what about you? Oh, you no, agree? you say are black. I you mean, agree? People, I don't understand. If you're right, I'm going to show you something. Give me Isaiah man. chapter 1 and verse 3. People, what I'm going to show you is that you just said the Bible is the pinnacle of what we need to be people period what we need it. to be coming do right? you believe that god we in the earth i'm gonna show you something noah this is the book of isaiah chapter one and verse three the ox knoweth his owner so what we're trying to do is we're trying we're showing our people like yes we have been lost here in america yes the tribes have been divided slave trade has happened all across the earth and we have lost our nationality that's why you can go to a brother on the corner and say hey bro what's your nationality he'll say i'm black but your shirt is black, and your shirt is black. We're not black. We are, our skin is brown. Why do we identify ourselves with a color? No other nation on the planet identifies themselves with a color except for us. That's how we've been raised. No, exactly. I'm about to show you something. Read this again. The ox knows his <laughs> owner. God says an ox knows his owner. And the ass his master's crib. A donkey knows where his home is. If you can take, you can take a donkey five miles away. In about an hour, two hours, where that donkey gonna be at? Back home. Right, right back at home. God says even a donkey knows how to get back home. But listen. But Israel. But the children of Israel who were led into slavery, who were led into slavery, do not know. They don't know their homeland. They don't know their nationality. They don't know their God. They think that this.
this man right here is the Christ. Talking about that crack? Yeah, they think that's the Christ. Oh, man, the whole world God. thinks that this is Christ. God says, the children of Israel, they don't know. Read. My people. He said what? My people. God is calling the children of Israel his people. He says, my people. Do not consider. They don't even consider who they are. So when you go to a brother today and you say, bro, what's your nationality? They're like, I think you'd be good to build uh, what I'm trying to say with you. Uh, I don't know what my nationality is. That's biblical. You just preach like every other why? church. Why? We're not preaching like that's, every that's other church. That's what I'm about to say. I'm going to show you. Believe in why do you think we lost our nationality? If you believe in the flood why do you think that the world we don't is, know who we are The only today. people left was Noah and his sons. Every, I, everything is from I'm them. I'm going to show you something. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse 15. If the world ended and the only people were is left was Noah and his sons. This is this is so important. Jacob. It and we would we, we, we can never rise above so this mentality, this understand condition of life, until like we understand what happened to us as a people. Read what you got. You this is the book of Deuteronomy, right chapter 28 and verse 15. So you gotta listen, bro. You can see Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee, and overtake thee. So God told the children of Israel, this is not being spoken to anybody but the children of Israel. The audience of the Bible is the children of Israel. Come a little closer, bro. I want to ask you too. I'm going to show you but why are we going into this. If I say, what's your name, bro? Pat. Pat. If I say, Pat, what's your nationality? What comes to mind? Quick. African American comes to mind. But when you break that down, where does that name come from? African American. That's two different names. Right. Right. Where does it come from? I, I we don't even know. know. We grew up in America and we don't, don't even know. Know. You know. You know. You know who Jesse know. Jackson is? That's the step they gave us Jesse when they made Jackson, everything Jesse legal Jackson for us. Jesse Jackson coined us when African Americans in the early 1970s. We became known as African Americans. Before that, you was an Afro American. A damn hairstyle. Before that, you was black. Before that, you was nigger. Before that, you was who knows. Which most of why do why does our name change so much? The man that you call yourself after. After, or the name that you call yourself after African American, that is two different names. I'm going to show you that God said that we would be called a byword. A byword is two names, like bicycle. Byword is two names. So when you say you're African American, you're saying that you come from the sperm cells of a man named Leo Scipio Africanus. Do you know who that is? Do you know who Af Leo Scipio Africanus is? I never heard of him. You never heard of him, but we call ourselves after his name. What about Amerigo Vespucci? You ever heard of that? Heard of that? So the, the, the name America. America is named after a man named Amerigo Vespucci. He came here first, not Columbus. Amerigo Vespucci came here first. Africa is named after a man named Leo Scipio Africanus. He conquered Hannibal during the Second Punic War, and he changed the name of the continent to fit his last name, Africanus. Thus you have Africa. Right. So when you say I'm African American, you're saying that I come from these two so-called white men. Right. Neo Scipio Africanus and America Vespucci. Right. Do you come from two white men? No. Alright. Can two white men produce life? Right. That's so why. how are you an African American? I said this an African is the biggest English man. lie that has been told to black people in America like, right, that right, you're an African American. Right. Right. Now I'm gonna show you something. I'm Read uh, Isaiah one and three again. Isaiah one and three, again. Isaiah one and three read it again. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter one and verse three. The ox knoweth this owner. See, you, you can't learn until you listen. See, he, he, he don't want to listen. You want to teach. You ain't you ain't teaching nobody until we set up. Right. So why don't you just pay attention and learn real quick? Right. The Bible is speaking. The reason we're in this condition is because we want to know it all instead of letting God talk. Right. Right. If we had listened to what God said, when our forefathers had listened to what Moses said God would do to us, when this happened, we wouldn't be in this condition now. Right. Right. It's time for us to shut up and start learning what's in the Bible. That's right. right. This is the only way we can change our condition here in America. Right. That's right. You won't change, the Bible has to change. Right. Right. Laying down in the streets, hands up, no shoe, Black Lives Matter, Believe none of that is going to help us. Believe Read it again. Real, the real spirit the ox knows his owner. God says an ox Jesus. knows his owner. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. And a donkey knows where his homeland is. Read. But Israel, but the children of Israel do not know. Come on. My people do not consider. God said, my people don't consider what I've done to them. 
They don't consider that I told them when I brought them out of the land of Egypt, if you keep my commandments, I'm going to set you on high. Right. But if you break my commandments, I'm going to send you into captivity. Right. Give me right. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Yeah. This is what has happened to us as a people. Slavery happened to us because we disobeyed the commandments that God gave us. Yeah, right. He chose us as a nation of people. Right. He gave us the earth. Right. And because we turned our back on him, he turned his back on us. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. God, God has told Moses. Moses is telling the children of Israel, it shall come to pass. Read. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to what I'm telling you that God is telling you, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. He said we must observe the commandments and do the commandments. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses. All these what? Curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, Moses told the children of Israel, these people on this side, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, if you break God's commandments, all these curses are gonna come upon you. Let's look at the curses and see if they help identify us as a people. Give me verse 32. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What is that called? A question, I see you listening over there. What is that called? Taking your sons and daughters and giving them to another people. Let's think about this in ancient times. Not today. In ancient times, if I came to your house, took your sons and your daughters, and gave them to another people, what is that called? That's called what? You see how easy that is? It's easy to understand. That's called slavery. God told, told the children of Israel, if you don't keep these commandments, I'm going to send your sons and your daughters into slavery. Right. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. You're going to see your sons and daughters being taken away from you all day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. And there ain't going to be no might, meaning power, in your hand to get your children back. So, you see the movie Roots? Y'all seen Roots, right? When they took Kizzy away, what could her mother and father do to get Kizzy back? Not a Not damn right. thing. Right. God Not said there ain't going to be no might in your hand. You Not see 12 years of slave? When they took the, the, the sister's kids, what could she do to get her kids back? Nothing. Your history has been in your face the whole time. Right. And we have not identified ourselves that we are the children of Israel. Right. That's right. Read on. That's a movie. The fruit of that this land. This ain't no movie. Man. This man, ain't no, is this a, is this a movie? Oh, this ain't no movie. Oh, this happened oh, to us as a people. Oh, We're in slavery today and we don't even know it. Right. We don't even consider it slavery, you know why? Because we ain't got chains on our ankles and chains on our neck and our hands. But there's a chain on your brain. Bring it up. The chain on your brain tells you that you're an African American. Right. The chain on your brain tells you to celebrate the holidays of America that are not your custom. Right. Christmas, Thanksgiving. Right. That's Fourth of July. Right. Birthdays. Right. Those are not that, your that, customs. That, that, right. No. Those are not of God. Because we lost our history during this. Everything was stripped from you. Your land, your language, your God. Right. Everything that you owned as a nation of people was taken from you. We think America, hey, we living it up. We living in America, we good. This is not our homeland. This ain't our rest. This is not it. God said these curses are going to be upon you so that you can identify who you are. Give me verse 45. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come. All these what? All these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. God said, when y'all break these commandments, and I send you into captivity, these curses are going to come upon you. They're going to overtake you and pursue you. Pursue you meaning you can run from South Carolina to Georgia. When you get to Georgia, guess what? You still gonna be under the curse. Right. You can run from America to China. In America, you known as a nigga. In China, you gonna be known as a hunga bunga or something. Whatever, right. however they say nigga, you gonna be known as a nigga. Right. You can go from China to Ukraine. Guess what you gonna be called? Nigga. You gonna be treated the same way. Why? Right. Because you cannot run from the curses of God. Right. You can't run from the curses of God. Anywhere you go on the planet Earth, you can go to anywhere on Earth and find a ghetto. Right. Who's in the ghetto? The ghetto. Who's in the ghetto all over the earth, bro? Any ghetto you go to, it don't matter where you go at, who predominantly lives in that ghetto? Blacks. Blacks. Now give me the definition of ghetto. Blacks. Give me the definition of ghetto real quick. I'm going to show you something. It's in your
your face and we don't see it. Right. Get me the definition of ghetto. But read verse 45. Yeah, yeah. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. He said that these curses are going to be upon you and overtake you until you are destroyed. Until you are destroyed. Read. Yeah. Because yeah. thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said because you don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. To keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments. We're in this condition because we don't keep the commandments. Right. Read. And the statutes which he commanded thee. Come on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. The curses shall be upon thee for what? For a sign. So God is telling the children of Israel, these curses that I'm going to put you through, they're going to be upon you for a sign. How do I know that that's Laurel Street? Oh you see the no sign says Laurel Street. How do I know that this is Sumter Street? See the sign says Sumter Street. Right. How do I know that this is a Presbyterian church? Really? That sign says it's a Presbyterian church. Right. So the Bible is telling us when we look into society, we can look at the condition of a certain group of people that identify with the curses of the Bible. Right. That's how we know that they are the children of Israel. That's right. Read yeah. what you got. Read the definition of ghetto. Ghetto. A corner of a city in which Jews were formerly required to live. Read it again, plainly. Ghetto. A corner of a city in which Jews were formerly required to live. Read. A corner of a city in which members of a minority group live, especially because of social, legal, or economic pressure. Read on. And, and, read on. Read and, read number three, an isolated group. A what? An isolated group. An, iso an isolated group. I'm going to read it again. This is the definition of ghetto. A quarter of a city, meaning a portion of a city, which Jews were formerly required to live. Right. Yeah. Now, when we say when it says Jews, don't let that fool you. Because the Israelites, they are the real Jews. That's right. That's right. The Israelites are the real Jews. Right. The people in that land today, they are not the Jews. Right. Yeah. You are the real Jew. Right. The real Jews are black. Let That's me prove right. that. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. in that country over there, hold it, I'm going to get back to it, that the people over there in Israel right now, we oh, think that they're the Jews. They are not the Jews. Right. The Jews are black. They are the real Israelites. That's the word right. Jew comes from the word, comes from the name Judah. Jew comes from Judah. During the time that we went back into the land, when we were expelled out of the land before, we were in slavery. You understand that? Jeremiah 14. When we were in slavery before, we got expelled out of our, out of our country, and then we went back. Primarily, who was in the land was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. That's the so-called blacks in America today, the so-called Jamaicans that are in Jamaica today, and the so-called Haitians. We say so-called because that's not their name. Right. Those names was given to us during slavery. So when they went back into Jerusalem, they became known as the Jews. Right. That's where that name comes from, the Jews, the Haitians, the Jamaicans, and you American blacks. That's where that name comes from. Now, I'm going to show you something. Read what you got. This is Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Listen to this. Judah mourning. What does Judah do? Judah mourning. When you're mourning, you're going through stuff. It says Judah is in mourning. And the gates thereof language. It says our gates language. What is the gates? The gates is our leadership. Our leadership lacks. They got us set up. Our leaders are now, uh, they setting the women up as leaders now. Nicki Minaj. Right. They setting uh, Megan Thee Stallion up. They try to set LeBron James up as our leader. All right? They put Barack Obama in place as a leader. Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, these are our leaders. 
They're not leaders. You right. know why? Because they have yet to tell our people that you are the Jews. You are Israelites. Right. The Bible says what? Read it again. Judah mourning. We're mourning. Read. And the gates thereof language. Read on. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. Read. Unto the ground. When you dig into the ground, you see that ground right there? If you dug into the ground, this is a little brown on the top, right? But when you dig in the ground, what color is it? It's what? It's brown. Pick it up. You can go dig. Look. Look at this dirt right here. If I dig into this dirt, what color is that? Look at this. What color is this? What color is this? This is what? Brown. Read it again. Judah morning and the gangster of language. They are black until the ground. They are black until the ground, meaning they're different shades of brown. The deeper you dig in the ground, the darker it gets. That's why uh, Tupac said the black of the berry. You know what he said. Yeah, yeah. You know, but you don't you don't you know what I'm trying to say. Alright. But Pac and Pac wasn't no, he, he was a little crazy, but he wasn't that crazy. But the Bible is making reference to the color of the Jews. Now I'm gonna show you something. Hold that. Give me Genesis chapter two. Bring it up. Give me Genesis chapter two and verse. Seven? Six or seven? Seven. Read that. I'm going to show you something. Read. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. God made man out of the dust of the ground. So what color was the dust of the ground just now? It was brown. Right. So why do we call ourselves black? Because we've been conditioned to call ourselves black. Right. Black means no good, filthy, dirty, foul. Right. We've been conditioned in our minds to call us a derogatory name that is against our God-given nature. So God said, I form a man from the dust of the ground. Say that again. So what color are we? Then? We are brown. Look at that. We're different shades of brown. Right. The deeper you dig, look, look at your skin. Right? Now look at that brother's skin. You see them different shades of brown? We are different shades of brown. Look at this. You got a little light skin. You got a little cocoa, a little chocolate over here. You got real dark right here. You know, we are different shades of brown. So when we go back and we go back to, Jer to uh, Jeremiah chapter 14, read this again. The Bible proves all things. I ain't got to make up nothing. You, don't, you ain't going to never hear us making up nothing. Right. We're going to teach you what the churches have not taught our people. Right. We're going to give you the sense of who you are like the churches should have been doing for many years. Right. But they have helped destroy our people. Right. Read. This book of Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Judah mourning and the gangster of language. They are black. What color are they? They are black Three. until the ground. So the Jews are black until the ground. Now give That's me the definition right. again. Give me this definition one more time. It says a quarter of a city or a portion of a city which the Jews who we just proved are black formerly live. It says a quarter of a city which members of a minority group. Who is the, who is the minority group? Who is the minority group today? Us. We are the minority. It Us. says a quarter of a city which members of a minority group live especially because of social, legal, or economic pressure. Yo, yo. An isolated group. Are the people over there in, uh, in, in Jerusalem right now in Israel, Bring are they out. an isolated group? Bring it out. Are they an isolated group? Are they a, a small group of people who lack economics? No, hell no. They run the diamond industry. They run the music industry. They run half these businesses that you see across America. So are they the minority group? That means somebody is lying to you. Somebody is lying to us. The Bible says we are the real Jews. If you are of black, Hispanic, or Native American descent, you are the real Jews. That's right. Period. Now, how did we get here? How do we get to this lower state that we're in right now? You know. How? Because we up on that side. go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Yo. Because thou shalt, because thou servest not the Lord thy God. So because we didn't want to serve God, remember, God chose the children of Israel. He said, I'm, you are my chosen people. You are God's chosen people. Right. But because you broke the commandments of God, because you went against the covenant that you made with God, he put us in slavery. Read it again. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. For what? For the abundance of all things. So God gave us everything. He gave us everything on the earth. Right. 
the trees, the birds, all of the people belong to the Israelites. That's, that's, that's right. That's a hard thing. The people. What do you mean the people? Every nation on the earth belongs to you. That's right. right. You are the original owner right. of the earth. Right. They belong to you. Right. But because we broke the commandments, now we are subject. We're under subjection to them. Right. Say it again. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Uh -huh. For the abundance of all things. Read on. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let's hold aside and read that again. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, Reason. which the Lord shall send against thee. God sent them against us. They ain't come up with this. God sent them. Read. And hunger. And what? And hunger. When you want food, where you get it from? Y'all buy food from each other. You sell them food, you got grocery store. When you want food, where do you get it from? Grocery store. Who owns the grocery store? Who owns the grocery store? We don't own the grocery don't store. In fact, our nation don't own it. God says you want to serve your enemies for food. Come on. And in thirst. When you want water, where do you get it from? Read. And in nakedness. When you want clothes, where do you get it from? Stop. Read. And in one of all things. He said in one of all things. When you want a toothbrush, toothpaste, toilet paper. You want to die, you need a dang on death certificate. If you want to be born, you got to go to him for a birth certificate. Right. If you want to drive, you right. got to go to him for a driver's license. Right. You want a pair of shoes, you got to go. God says in one of all things, you're going to serve your enemies. Right. But here's the kicker. Read on. And he. And what? And he. So this ain't no spirit. It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So who is the he that did this to you? Bring it up. A man. What man? The what? The that ain't nothing to be ashamed of. That's the truth. Right. See, you gotta look at this and say that this is talking about the so-called white man. Right. It says that he and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So this is nothing to be ashamed of. You know why? Because remember earlier, go back to verse 45. I'm gonna show you why. It says that he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. This is one of the curses that he would put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What other nation of people had a yoke of iron put on their neck? Bring it up. No other nation of people. Right. That means that you are the biblical Jews. That's that means right. you are the biblical Israelites. Right. He shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck is a sign. That's Read it right. again. 48. 45. 45. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Read on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, ah, to keep his commandments read. and his statutes which I which he commanded thee. Read on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. He said, these curses, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. That's a sign. It's a sign. It identifies you. It's a sign that identifies you. Me, right. her, right. us. It identifies us that we are the children of God. Right. That we are the real biblical Jews of the Bible. That's right. right. That this happened to us. Go back to verse 48. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. He said, you will serve your enemies. You serve them today. When you go to Walmart to work, when you go to Texaco to work, when you go to these gas stations, anywhere you go, when you go inside the comic, you see your people in there working. When you see them buses coming up and down the road, you see your people working. Everything you do in society, you see your people working, serving as slaves. Right. right. Because if God gave you the earth, gave you the earth as the owner of the earth, should you be a servant on the earth? No. No. That's why He gave you the earth. All these other nations, they are our servants. Right. Now we gotta serve them because we broke God's commandments. Right. right. Read on, verse forty-nine. Verse 49, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So God says, I'm going to bring a nation against you from far. How far is Jerusalem from America on a boat? God far. Man. How far is America from the west coast of Africa on a boat? Far. far. God says, I'm going to bring a nation upon you from far, from the end of the earth. From the end of the earth? Uh -huh. As swift as the eagle flyer. I'm going to show you something. As swift as the eagle flyer. Bring it out. As swift as the eagle flyer. What's the bird of this country? Read it again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. He said, I'm going to bring a nation against you from far. Remember, we are going over the curses, which are what? 
What are the curses? They're a sign. Right. They're a sign. Yeah, hold that. The curses are a sign. So every day that we're reading right now is a sign. It's identifying groups of people, nations. Read it again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from four. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyer. He says, as swift as the eagle flyer. America brought us over here, right? What's the bird of the country? So what was the bird of the Spaniards or Spanish? Right. They're the same people, bald eagle. Right. What was the the uh the symbol of Rome? The bald eagle. Right. What was the symbol of the Greeks? A bald they have always ran under the banner of a bald eagle. That's right. The Bible is showing you who your enemy is. Right. It's showing you who your oppressor is. Right. It says, as far from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. Come on. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. What language did we speak? We spoke Hebrew. Right. We spoke Hebrew in different dialects of the continent of what today is known as Africa. We spoke these different dialects. He says a nation with a far with a foreign tongue is gonna come and put you in slavery. Read. A nation of fierce countenance. Of what? A fierce countenance. Read on. Which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. Uh -huh. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. They have raped, robbed, and taken everything from us, even yeah. our nationalities. Now the question is, what do we do? What is what do we do now? Cause now you you know that you ain't black. From this day moving forward, you should never consider yourself black. God says, no, you're an Israelite. You're an Israelite. Give me uh, uh Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12 real quick. Because now that you know you're an Israelite, what do you do? What do you do now? If, if, if breaking God's commandments is what got us in the condition, how do we get out of the, out of the condition? We keep the commandments, right? right? Read this. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel. Now, Israel, when you look at this sign, you're no longer an African American. You can't call yourself that. You're an Israelite. You must know this, believe this, and live according to this. If you continue to live like a black man, then guess what? You're going to continue to get black man results in society. Yeah. If you continue to live like a nigga, you're going to get nigga conditions in, in society. Deep. We have been shot down in these streets and raped and pulled through these streets for hundreds of years. Right. You ain't tired yet? Are you tired of looking at the condition of your people? Bring it out. When we look at this society, look at this. Look at the condition of our brothers and sisters. Jeez. Are we not tired yet? Bring it out. What do we do about it? Stand up in the streets and beg for peace? That don't work, right? You get your damn hair shot off. You're lucky, you're lucky to be even standing in the street. We got brothers laying down in the street saying, no justice, no peace. They want to lay in the middle of the road. Jeez. Boycott police. Right. None of these things help, has helped us. So what? Is it what is what is the remedy? What is, is there anything out there that can help us? God says, do what? And now Israel. Now that you know you're an Israelite, come on. What do the Lord thy God require of thee? God requires something from the Israelites. The same thing which He required in the beginning. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. We gotta fear God. That's the main. That's that's one of our biggest hiccups. We do not fear God. That's enough. We don't fear what we don't fear the judgment of God. Read. To walk in all his ways. We got to walk in all of God's ways. Come on. And to love him. Uh -huh. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Come on. To keep the commandments of the Lord. So he said, you said you fear God. We fear God, right? Yes, I'm going to show you something. All three of y'all got something in common right now. Give me Romans. I mean, uh, 1 Corinthians 11. Y'all got something in common, right, in common right now. Let's see how far or how much fear of God you have. Because we see he gave the Israelites the commandments. We broke the commandments. He gave us a judgment, which was slavery. Our punishment was slavery. Now, we want to come out of the condition, so we must do what? Like you said, follow and keep the commandments. Here's the commandment. Read what you got. Verse 3. Start at verse, uh, yeah, verse 3. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Who's the head of every man? Christ. It just said Christ. Read it again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ, read. And the head of the woman is the man. If you got a wife, if you got a wife, you are the head of your wife. Not a girlfriend. 
a wife. All right, you don't find girlfriend and boyfriend in here. You find marriage. It says that you are the head of the woman. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So hold on, that's a dis that, 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 that's a discrepancy because in the Christian church it says that the Holy the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost they the same thing. But how can it be the same thing when right here it says that Christ has a head? It says the head of Christ is what? Is God. His Father is His head. Read. Every man praying. Every man that prays, y'all pray. Every man that prays. Or prophesy. Or prophesies. When you're standing in the midst of the Bible coming out, that is prophecy. This is prophecy that we're talking about. All right, read. Having his head covered. Having what? His head covered. Uh -huh. Dishonored his head. So, question. Is your head covered? The father got my head. No, is your head covered? Yeah, I got a hat on. All right. What about you? You got on? Read it again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor his head. Who's who's the head of the man? Hold on, but Christ. It says that every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered with a hat on, a do rag, having his head covered while the Bible is coming out, do what? Dishonor his head. You dishonor Christ. Why? Because prophecy coming out. You see any of these brothers with a purple shirt with a hat on? You know why? Because the scriptures are being read. Right. So when the scriptures are being read, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to take that thing off. Right. That's honoring Christ. Right. There you go, brother. That's what you're supposed to do. That shows obedience. This shows fear. This shows this is you said you fear God. If you fear God, you're supposed to take that thing off. Yeah, they do it in Esau's court. Because if you walk into the courtroom right now, what's the first thing you're gonna do when you walk so through that now door? Now you judging me now? No, I ain't I ain't, I ain't saying nothing. I ain't said nothing. Did I judge you just now? You heard the word of God? He ain't got nothing to do with Give me. Give uh, me my sheep here, my boys. What that? Uh, John 10, 27. John, I ain't judge. We're not out here to judge. The Bible does, does all the judgment. You, this brother, you heard what I read. You took your hat off. Did I, t did I judge you and tell you to take your hat off? I'm going to show you what he did. John 10, verse 12. Come on, bro. 27. 27. 27. This is, the, this is the book of John, chapter 10 and verse 27. Watch this. My sheep hear my voice. You hear that? You hear that, brother? You hear that, brother? Listen. My sheep hear my voice. Christ said, my sheep hear my voice. There you go. They had it. That, 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 listen. All praise the people. That's, that's, that shows repentance, brother. All I'm showing you is what this church has not showed us. Right. I'm showing you why we're in the condition that we're in because we lack understanding of the Bible. Right. The pastors ain't teaching this. They're not showing us this. Give me Jeremiah chapter 23. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Let's go. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Come on, read. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors. You know what God said? There's a pastor in this church. There's a pastor in that church. There's a pastor in all these churches. God said what? Woe be unto the pastor. He says woe. What does the word woe mean? Anytime you read the word woe in the Bible, that means destruction. Right. That means destruction. God says woe be unto the pastors. Come on. That destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. They destroy and scatter the sheep. We the sheep. You are the sheep. God says destruction to the pastors that scatter the sheep of my flock. Read saith the Lord. Come on. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastor. Hold on. The Lord God of who? The Lord God of Israel. You see that? The Lord God of Israel. Come on. Against the pastors that feed my people. Uh -huh. Read. Ye have scattered my flock. That you have scattered my flock. He's telling the pastors, he said, you have scattered my flock. You have not taught them how to honor me. You have not taught them how to honor the Sabbath day, which is today. You have not taught them how to walk, put fringes on their clothes, and the dress code that I give them as a royal people. The pastors of these churches have led us down the wrong path, That's down right. the wrong road. Right. God says destruction unto them. Read on. And driven them away. He says they dri they've driven us away. They've driven us away from the commandments of God, from keeping God's laws. Read. And have visited them. Behold. Come on. I will visit upon you. You. I will visit upon you the evil of your doing. What is the evil of their doing? On Christmas, they tell our people that they are celebrating what? Christ's birthday. Christ lived about 33 years according to the Bible. Did he ever celebrate his own birthday? No. Why do we celebrate? 
Is Christ's birthday in December? No. Was he born in December? No. No. So the churches are constantly doing what? Leading us astray. That's why every Sunday they gotta that you ain't even gotta go to the church no more. They come to you on your TV. They come to you and continue to teach you lies on your TV. Creflo Dollar, TD Jakes, right. all of these pastors that are set up over the black community, they are set up to destroy us. Right. That's why when we read the Bible, we don't know that we're supposed to remove our hats in right. honor of Christ. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.